Welcome back to What The Tech, where we answer your tech questions. Now you should be using a proper password manager, but one of the biggest issues with free password managers is that many of them significantly restrict their features to encourage you, of course, to upgrade to a paid for password manager. So what is the best free password manager? Now there are a lot of them. So in this video, I'm going to run you through some of the best password managers that don't significantly restrict their features. I'll also run you through that list of free password managers you're best to avoid because of just those restrictions, just in case you're looking for a specific one. And as we go along, I'll let you know the best way to secure your password managers in each of those password managers. Now, don't forget to comment down below to let me know what your favorite password manager is. And with that said, let's get stuck in with the three, yes, the three that don't restrict you. First up, it's Bitwarden. Bitwarden is a long and well-known firm favorite of being free, open source, and fully featured. And it's definitely a favorite amongst the techies amongst us. Its free tier doesn't have many restrictions, but its two-factor authentication is restricted to just email or an authenticator app and doesn't support these physical YubiKeys unless you upgrade to their premium tier at $10 a year, which are one of the best ways to protect your password managers from outside access. So to best protect your free Bitwarden account, I'd recommend using Authy, Google, or Microsoft Authenticator as your two-factor authentication. Bitwarden also has two trackers embedded in its Android app, used to track any app crashes, which I'm not a fan of, but being open source, it has all of the client code available for anybody to see how those trackers are used. My only caveat around using Bitwarden is that it, it just doesn't feel very polished. It feels like it's built for techies, which is, of course, very subjective depending on who you are. But overall, Bitwarden works very, very well. There's an Android and iOS app. And because it's open source, even the embedded trackers aren't as much of a concern to me. Pretty solid start. Next up, let's take a look at a new one this time. Synology. Synology offers their C2 password manager in addition to a few other products, including backup, file sharing, and authentication. And their C2 password manager is actually pretty fully featured. They also include a secure file transfer feature for files of up to 100 meg in size with their free tier and the ability to determine where your data is stored, which is really nice to see. They have two-factor authentication with options to sign in using the Synology mobile app or using an authenticator like Authy. Still, no YubiKey support, but it is great that their default support is more secure than using text or email. Their interface also looks great, and the only downside I can see to Synology C2 is that there's no desktop app. But there are apps for Android and iOS, and these look clean and work very well. There's also no reports on any embedded trackers in the Android app just yet, most likely due to this being a relatively new service, but overall, Synology is another solid option who can offer more than just a password manager along with those other services. Zoho Vault is next, and part of Zoho's wide range of online tools. Refreshingly, there's tons of support here for two-factor authentication methods, like their OneAuth mobile authenticator apps, and this, the first one, which supports these YubiKeys, even at the free level. Great work, Zoho. Now, Zoho also gives you a great password assessment dashboard to see how secure your passwords are. Downsides are that there's no desktop app, which I do personally like to see just so I'm not forced to keep the browser open all the time. And there is one embedded tracker in the Android app, which is for Zoho Analytics, which I'm honestly not too keen on because, well, I've no idea what data they're actually analyzing exactly. But overall, it looks like a clean product with a nice user interface. And I love that you can use those YubiKeys to secure your account. Now, those are literally the only only three free password managers that I could find that don't significantly restrict their service. And out of those three, I don't think there's a bad option there. I personally go with Synology or maybe Bitwarden, mainly because the other Synology products that I use, but honestly, you can't go wrong with either of them. But what about the other free password managers? So here is a rundown of all of the rest and why I wouldn't recommend them due to their significant limitations. And if you want to watch my full breakdown on why I recommend a paid for password manager instead of a free one, then I'll link that below this video and up here somewhere as well. One password password, one well, my best overall password manager for this year, but doesn't have a free version, so that's a no. Keeper also doesn't have a free version. Dashlane only lets you store 50 passwords, which won't get you very far in today's world and only works on one device. Roboform doesn't sync across devices, doesn't support two-factor authentication, and doesn't back your data up at their free level, so that's a no. LastPass only lets you use a single device type, so you can't have it on both your phone and your computer, though at least it does support two-factor authentication and save itself to the cloud, unlike Roboform. It also has marketing trackers embedded in the Android app, so that's a hard pass for LastPass for me. KeyPass is actually a good option for those of you working in IT or if you want to share a few select passwords between your colleagues on network, but for most people, it's not a good fit. There's no online sync, no backup, and a confusing range of third-party apps and plugins. It's one that only those who understand what they're getting themselves into should actually look at. PassHub only stores 100 records and doesn't auto-store or auto-fill passwords, which means it's basically a manual process.
process, so that's a no. NordPass only lets you log into one device at a time, which can be extremely frustrating, switching back and forth between mobile and laptop and desktop. NPass only fully works on desktop and caps you at 25 items on mobile, so that's a no. Sticky password doesn't sync across devices and doesn't back up your data. And remember, also one device, no sync and no backup. And if you're looking for a free password manager, you might want to check out this video, which looks at the best free antivirus for your computer or this one if you want to see what additional features you get when paying for a password manager.